Hi, I'm Anna. I'm the dietitian over at our Lewis Cancer and Research Pavilion in Bluffton. And today I'm going to show you how to make a fun, refreshing, tropical smoothie for the hot summer that we're having. Um, smoothies are a really great way to get lots of fluid in in the summer. You're usually getting a lot of electrolytes depending on what you're adding. Um, a great way to get some extra fiber if you want to add some chia seeds, uh, different fruits, nuts, things like that. Um, also can make a quick and easy breakfast. They're super easy to prepare, you know, bag them up, put them in the freezer, pull them out in the morning, add your liquid, and there you go. You can also make a, a smoothie bowl if you choose to make your smoothie a little bit thicker, and that way it can be a little bit more of a meal. And then you can add some granola, some coconut flakes, just all your favorite toppings to make it more of a filling, satiating meal. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, so today, in today's smoothie, we have orange juice, coconut milk, coconut water, uh, vanilla Greek yogurt, plant-based protein powder, frozen mango, frozen pineapple, and frozen cherries. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with our orange juice. Great source of vitamin C, um, and this is fortified with vitamin D as well. And then we have our coconut milk. This is canned coconut milk, so it'll add a good creamy factor to the smoothie. Um, still dairy free um, and then we're going to go on with just a little bit of coconut water and we're going to save a little bit for the end in case we need some more great source of electrolytes here um, we always add our liquid first just to help the blender uh, blend a little bit easier so now we'll go in with our vanilla greek yogurt um, so there's about 16 grams of protein in one serving of this so you're getting a good amount of protein um, as well as probiotics from the yogurt and then we will go in with our scoop of plant-based protein powder. Um, you can use whatever protein powder you'd like. It doesn't have to be plant-based. It can be flavored, um, whatever you like. Protein powder is just a really great way to get a good amount of protein in the morning. And we're gonna do a scoop and a half because we're making this for several people. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and add our frozen mango. Um, so mangoes are a really good source of soluble fiber. Um, and as we know, more fiber um, equals lower risk of several types of cancer. So colorectal cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, all sorts of GI cancers. So more fiber is great. Um, we wanna make sure we're getting at least 25 to 38 grams of fiber per day. Um, and smoothies are a great easy way to get some fiber in. Um, so next we're going to go in with our pineapple, uh, which is a great source of vitamin C as well. Um, also lots of minerals like copper, magnesium, a uh, great source of B vitamins, which help our body process all of the nutrients that we're taking in from this smoothie and um, throughout the day as well. And then our last ingredient is going to be our frozen cherries. So these add a super nice, rich flavor. Um, they're also a great source of antioxidants, uh, specifically anthocyanin, which is anti-inflammatory, um, cancer protective, cardio protective, lots of benefits to anthocyanins. Um, cherries are also a great source of melatonin and have a little bit of magnesium in them as well, uh, which helps promote sleep regulation and just better sleep. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and blend this smoothie. And if we need to add more coconut water, we will. Make sure it's on low. Perfect. Got a nice bright pink color from those cherries. Cheers. Refreshing, lots of flavor. I can taste a little bit of creaminess from the yogurt, the coconut milk. And I know that I'm getting lots of vitamins, minerals, nutrients just from this little smoothie here. Um, so I hope you make it and I hope you enjoy and stay cool.